Good morning and welcome back to the Mansion Build. This will be our final video of 2022. So today, me and Drew are gonna blast up this brickwork on the back. We finally, finally, finally have a flat roof to work off, so I'm buzzing about that. So it's Drew, we spent the morning loading out and mixing up compo together. So today we're just gonna blast up all this brickwork. We'll see how we get on. I'll come back to you in a little bit when we go over our tray detail again, um, just to show you a few more things. So yes, yes. So me and Drew are now bedding on the, the tray, what I spoke about in a couple of videos now. So we've got our bed underneath. I've also got some bed on top of the tray, just so the bricks bond to it slightly better. And then all we're gonna do is just tap it down to the line. And then I won't forget today, what we're gonna do is scrape out this joint later on at the end of the day. And this way the roofer will be able to just get his lead in easily and won't have to grind out anything. So I'll do my part to hopefully make his life slightly easier. So that's what we're on with at the moment. And it's not going too bad, is it, Drew? No, pretty good, man. We've rolled out the rest of the tray, bedded it all on, and now we're just bringing our brickwork all the way across. As you can see here, I've set out a doorway. We've got a door, a patio door, coming out onto this um, flat roof area. But what will probably be is like a Juliet balcony where you've got railings here so you can't actually walk out there. So we've just set this out. We've still run the tray all the way through so it's continuous. That's down for the roofer to sort out. It's not really my department. We'll just do what we can. Uh, so right now we're just gonna carry on blasting and we'll see how we get on for the rest of today. Wet my knee, yeah. <laughs> what Drew will do for a shot. In it, man. and welcome back to the job as you can see it's still pretty early um, so yeah yesterday we were battling winds hence why there weren't many recordings because it was just too windy rain constantly so as I'm to cover everything up and then then come back out to it however it's always the same this time of year battling wind rain ice snow it's always the same for bricklayers this time of year we've got some lads coming in today to help push along the block work just to move the job a bit further to wall plate before Christmas, hopefully, when we break up on probably Thursday or Friday. So we're gonna see how we get on. Yesterday, me and Drew were still a tiny bit fragile because we had our Christmas drinks over the weekend. <laughs> If I've got any clips, well, yeah, I might have some. Uh, which was a really good laugh. Went out in Derby, um, so yeah, it was a really good. It was a good night, but obviously the week prior, so last week we had the entire week off. So um, yeah, it's always hard this time of year. I had a few messages from people saying like, how do you deal with the weather, and how do you? afford having a week off when you're self-employed because as 90% of bricklayers in this country we are all self-employed 
Um, it's too late to give advice now because the cold weather's already here. But what I've always been taught from when I was an apprentice and when I first started is always put some float aside. So what I mean by that, let's say your rent, mortgage and all your bills come to about a grand a month. In summer, while the weather's good, put in the extra shifts, work an extra 10 or 15 days, and then put that money aside. So when you have downtime in winter, like we had last week, you're still covered. It's the only advice I can give. So yeah, anyway, we are gonna crack on today and see how we get on. Sorry, Green. Go on. Yes, right, let's get to it. Yes, yes. So we've just got set up. I've just about to set my windows out. However, I've just had a phone call regarding this door. Um, so initially on the drawings, I'll throw it up now. The door was meant to be over there. Um, I was, but we decided that we were going to put it here. Not me personally, but I was told to put it here. And I've just had another phone call to say uh, that they want it slightly smaller now. So it's 1500 at the moment. They want the opening to be a meter now. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna quickly whip the profiles off and probably tooth out my halves, bring this in a brick and a half, bring that one in a brick, and then we'll have a meter opening and then we'll be able to set out the windows again. Um, so like I said, these things always kind of happen on extensions. Things are constantly changing, drawings always changing, alterations always changing. So you just kind of have to, got to work with the cards you dealt sometimes, but it doesn't matter. Solutions, no problems. We'll get it toothed out and then we'll crack on. Under pressure, no more time. Can we make a move? Overthinking, you and I. What do we have to lose? That's what Bubble say, Andrew. That's pretty fucking happened to me. <laughs> What a man. What a man. Just sorted that out. Didn't take too long, took about 15 minutes. Just quickly toothed it out. Uh, what I like to do when I tooth, just so you guys already know, but I put my perf on like normal, and then I smear some on the brick like that. So when it goes into the existing brickwork, you scooch it under and it glues like that. So that's what I've just done there. Rather than wrap back all the way, which will take loads of time, just tooth that. Easy. <laughs> So it's not too late at all. This is the stage we are currently at. We've got our oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. About 10 courses so far. We've got another four courses to go till this is up to uh, the brickwork height, what we've got all the way around the job. Then we're ready for a scaffold lift. Um, took a little bit of time this morning just making sure the lads in there are doing everything what they need to be, which is not too bad at all. Um, so right now we're just going to carry on focusing on these last four courses and yeah I don't know if I'll film the block work inside but we'll see we'll, we'll just see sad anyway
I was born in. Um, there we go. So me and Drew wrapped up all of our brickwork yesterday. We are now ready for scaffolders to come in the new year, get this back up and the entire job up one more lift. Today, me and Drew are going to be blasting up all the block work. I was going to film, but we've got a couple of other lads in. I didn't really want to focus on uh, their laying and things like that. Because it's all about me. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, but that is it. We have done 55 videos this year. Just went back to uh, and had a look. We've worked all over. We've worked on many extensions. We've done some good work. We've had some ups. We've had some downs. But overall, we have got there. The support on the channel has been amazing, and probably one of the driving factors for me to keep pushing and just trying harder and harder with videos, with work, with everything. So thank you all so much, especially the people who stayed to the end of the videos. Um, I do appreciate it. So, New Year, 2023, we've got someone coming on board, hopefully. Uh, if I can get some things ironed out, it should be amazing. Hopefully that will mean Drew will be on the trial more and the new lad will be on the trial more. He's a good friend of mine, so fingers crossed I can get things organized for that. But anyway, on that note, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, thank you all for your support, I do really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the new year. Sam.